what do you think would be the first time when humans sight aliens, see aliens in, in a sort of unquestionable way, this extremely strong and arguable way we've made contact with aliens, Sarah, what would it look like? Obviously the, 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 the space of possibilities is, is huge here, but if you were to kind of look into the future, what would that look like? Would it be inklings of UFOs here and there that slowly unravel a mystery? Or, or would it be like an obvious, overwhelming signal? So I think we have an obsession with making contact with events. So uh, what do I mean by that is, you know, like people have a UFO sighting, they make contact. Um, and I always think, you know, what's interesting to me about the UFO narratives right now is not that I have a disbelief about what people are experiencing or feeling, but like the discussion right now is sort of at the level of modern mythology. Aliens are our mythos mm -hmm. in modern culture. And and when you treat it like that, then, then I want to think about when do things that we traditionally only regularize through mythology actually become things that become standard knowledge? So, you know, like it used to be, you know, variations in the climate were described by some kind of gods or something. And now it's like, you know, our technology picks up an anomaly or someone sees something, we, we say it's aliens. And I think the real thing is it's not contact with events, but like first contact is actually contact with knowledge of the phenomena or the explanation. And so this is very subtle and very abstract, but when does it become something that we actually understand what it is that we're talking about? That's first contact, it's not. Would you make the myth, would you give credit to the myth, the mythology as first contact? Because I think, yes, I think it's the rudimentary that we have some understanding that there's a phenomena that we have to understand and regularize, so I think. Right, to understand that there is weather. Yes. You have to construct a yes. mythology around that yes. weather. It's yes. something that's controllable. Right. Yeah, like this is a I see mythology so, basically as like baby knowledge. <laughs> right. And it right. could be that, you know, <laughs> although there's lots of there's lots of alien sight or so called alien sightings, right? So there is a number of things you can do. You could just dismiss them and say they're not true, they're kind of made up. Or you say, well, there's some there's something interesting here, right? We keep seeing a commonality, right? We see the same phenomena again and again and again. Also, this is interesting thing about human imagination. Even if they are let's not say made up, but mis misappropriated kind of other inputs. The fact that human consciousness is capable of imagining it contact with aliens, does that not tell us about something about where we are in our position, in mm -hmm. our culture, in our technology? It tells us and about I, where in time we are. Could it be that we're making contact with, let's say that, so let's say, let's take the most miserable version. There are no aliens in the universe. Life is only on Earth. That then the interpretation of that is we're desperate to kind of understand why we're the only life in the universe, right? The other one is the other most extreme is that aliens are visiting all the time and we just, you know, we're just not able to capture them coherently. Or there's a big conspiracy and, you know, there, there's Area 51 and there are lizards everywhere and <laughs> there's that. Um, or I, I'm I kind of in favor of the idea that maybe humanity is waking up to the idea that we aren't alone in the universe and we're just running the simulation <laughs> and we're seeing some evidence. You know, we don't we don't know what life is yet. We are we do have some anomalies out there. We can't explain everything. Um, and over time, um, you know, we will start to unpack that. One very plausible thing we might do, which might be boring for the average alien um, uh, observer or believes that aliens are, as in intelligent aliens, are visiting Earth. It could be that we might go to the outer solar system and find a new type of life that has completely new chemistry. Bring these cells back to Earth, where you could say in my hand, on Earth, here's RNA, DNA, and proteins, and look, cells self-replicate. From Titan, we got this new set of molecules, new set of cells, and we feed it stuff and it grows. Mm -hmm. That, for me, if we were able to do that, would, just, pff, would be like mm -hmm. the, the most, that would be my UFO that's a, sighting. That's a good test, so you feed it and it grows. Yeah. <laughs> We've made, so not until you know how to feed the thing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and it's like it, the, it, it grows somehow. We can make a comic book, you know, the tiger that came for tea, the alien that came for tea. 